Welcome to ETV for May 6, 2010. In world news, Russian forces have stormed the Somali pirates and have freed the Russian crew of oil tankers. The crew had locked themselves in a safe room, and as the Russian rescue party rescued them, they also arrested 10 pirates, which will be on trial in Moscow in the future. During the 20 hours of stage, the pirates were not able to t take any host hostages, and the pirates gave up the oil tanker, which is now backing home in Russia. State news, a 30-year-old Fitchburg man pulled over by a Dane County Sheriff deputy apparently didn't want to get a ticket as he fled in a chase that reached up to 100 miles per hour before officers used road spikes to stop the car, authorities reported. A pursuit started reaching speeds of 100 miles per hour as the two vehicles went in and out of the city of Madison. Even after his car was stopped, the driver fled on foot before being captured about 10 minutes later with the help of a police dog. And also, Wisconsin will become the 25th state to have some type of ban when it comes to text messaging while driving. The bill makes it illegal in Wisconsin to compose or send text messages or emails while driving. The state will also require driver education instructor, instructors to teach students about distracted driving and the texting ban in their classes. Speaking of driver's ed, are you looking for driver's education option for summer? Big T School of Driving and Enrollment Packets are available for Miss Mead in the Counseling Office. Kids still 15 years of age as of June 1st are eligible to participate in the Boston Summer Rec Program. Registration forms are available from Mr. Lavold, Ms. Van, Ms. Van Grohl, or from Ms. Bauer in the LMC. Registration deadline is May 15th. Seniors, if you receive notice of receiving any scholarships, either directly from your college or, outside, or another outside source, please be sure to let Miss Me know so it can be acknowledged in the evening of commemoration scholarship insert. Scholarships only, not financial aid loans or grants. Attention four-year college-bound juniors. The last ACT test for this school year is on June 12th. Mawson is not a test site in June. If you still need to test or retest, the regular post Mark deadline is Friday, May 7th. Stop in the counseling office for a packet or register online at actstudent.org. Attention technical bound, school bound juniors. The compass test will be given at WTC Mawson campus on Wednesday, May 12th at nine o'clock in the morning. MHS will be, taking a will be taking a group to the testing. If you are Wisconsin Technical School bound and have not yet compass tested or ACT tested, see Ms. Mead for information if you would like to test on May 12th. Test fee is $20, but waivers are available for students on free or reduced lunch. Registration deadline is tomorrow with Ms. Mead. In sports news, boys and girls middle school track and field are at Wisconsin Dells tonight at 4.30. Boys JV baseball is versus Lodi two to five inning games at 4.30. Boys varsity tennis plays on Alaska Luther at 4.30 p.m. there. Boys varsity baseball is at Lodi at 4.45 p.m. Girls varsity soccer is versus Reedsburg at five o'clock home. Kyle Randall got a chance to talk to Andy and Quinn about Quinn Talks Tech and also talk to Kenny Clark about the game today. And Andy Thrams, uh, they have a show that's called Quinn's Talk, Quinn Talks Tech. Uh, so Quinn, what's the show about? Show's all about tech and little gadgets, and uh, the air times are going to be 11:15, 12:10, 12:45, and 6:30. And uh, the first pilot episode that we put out last week went pretty well. We had about half a million views, so it wasn't too bad. About a couple hundred thousand reviews on uh, YouTube and Facebook. So it turned out pretty well. Um, if we keep turning them out like this, we should be making some good money soon and maybe our stunts and our props are gonna get a little bit better. Andy? That's about it. And yeah, that show was, it was pretty amazing, I must add. I mean, Quinn, he's doing all this fancy stuff with the tech, oh my God, I mean. It was ridiculous. I it, did it and I don't even believe it. It's pretty sweet. It was amazing. It was amazing. Hi, right, this is uh, Channel 9 sports reporter Kyle Randall here. Uh, so, Kenny Clark, I heard there's a game tonight. So, where's it at? Uh, it's in uh, Lodi. How'd you guys do against them last year? 
Uh, well, I think we won by a point last year, so we beat them. It was a good game. Yeah, uh, so I see that you have something on your left hand. Um, yeah, yeah, I uh, broke my hand yesterday at a little incident, but I'm on injured reserve now. That's a, that's a tough loss to the team, and hope the hand gets better, Kenny. Yeah, I hope so, too. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. This has been ETV for May 6, 2010. Have a great day.